What's happening everyone and today we're looking at the brand new iPad and also the brand new iPhone 14. Let's look at the lineup right now. Here we go. First things first, make sure to hit that subscribe button below. Hit the notification bell so you can be notified of the next videos to come up tips and tricks and also a bunch of Apple news. This is brand new for us. And we're gonna do it right now budget ipad is the one that we're looking at today and this is used for students and also everyone who doesn't want to break the bank and still have the ipad but this ipad haven't been updated at all for so long and it has the internal upgrades but the sides and the design is still the old one now there are new leaks that are coming out that the new ipad will have the straight edge design kind of like the air and the ipad pros apple also wants the back the camera design to be different from all of them so as you could see here this is the colored renders of it and it's totally different but unfortunately the touch id will stay on the front side of the screen not on the power button or the side button big shout out to renders by Shales. i probably said that wrong if you want to see more leaked renders uh, this is the guy to go to follow him on twitter because he has great renders now apple is a big company and as you could see they even have leaks of their products that they don't want release the question is can you really trust anything online when you punch in your codes, your passwords, you make yourself vulnerable to fraud and online threats. Your full name, your date of birth, your banking information, is that all safe when you go to a secured, trusted website? If you are not sure, Aura is here to help. This is our sponsor for today. Aura is a proactive protection for everything and everyone that matters. Alerting you to threats is only half the battle but Aura takes action to prevent and resolve issues in real time so you can do what you love online safely. Aura gets near real-time alerts on suspicious credit inquiries, like if someone was opening a loan or credit card in your name. It also has identity theft protection it also has online and device security shop bank and work online more safely and privately with military grade vpn and antivirus to protect your devices and it's also great for the family because it keeps your family's online activities safe from hackers and malicious sites aura is also an official sponsor of the minnesota timberwolves make sure to try out aura today for 14 day trial Check it out and see if it works for you. It's really easy to sign up and there are no obligations. So start your trial today. Now let's talk about iPhone 14 lineup. Basically, with the iPhone 14 is increasing in price with the shortage of chips. The looks of it is not that much different. Now there is that punch hole design that they're adding on the pros. I feel like that is a good design change, especially that I hate the notch. But the rest of the phone will be the same. It would have the straight edge design and even the back cameras would be the same as well. Maybe slightly bigger because of the new camera module that they're adding on it. We'll be able to shoot up to 8 k 60 frames per second so that's really good they're also getting rid of the mini versions of the iphones it'll just be a 6.1 screen and a 6.5 inch screen no more minis therefore the lineup will be iphone 14 and then iphone 14 max those are like the budget versions and then there's the pro versions which will be iPhone 14 Pro and the iPhone 14 Pro Max but the pricing here will be slightly different there are a lot of different rumors that the pricing will be the same but recent rumors is actually saying that it'll be a hundred dollars more USD in Canada that would be around hundred fifty dollars more and that's it for today everyone thanks for watching I know you are very excited for that brand new iPhone 14s I personally opt out on it and I think I'm gonna wait maybe another year or so before I get one just because of all the brand new stuff and also the shortage of the chips right now 
it'll be so hard to get the iPhone 14s anyway that I'll just pass on maybe a year or two and let's see what happens. Thanks for watching everyone, I'll see you on the next one. Peace.